will surely come to pass. And this is our prayer. Remember that the word of God is true. Keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. Ah, keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me through. Ah, there is a race that I must run. And victory is to be won. Ah, give me power every hour to be true. Oh, there is a race that I must run. And some victory is to be won. Ah, give me power every hour. To be true. Keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. That should be your song. That you sing that God keep me true. Uh, on this earth, in this life, there is a race that one should run. And there are victories to be won. You have to win victories in life. And you can only win with the help of the Holy Spirit and with Christ. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Christ in you is the hope of glory. May the Lord bless you everywhere that you are listening to us. When you mention out, may his countenance be over you. May the face of our Lord shine upon you and give you peace in everything that you do. In the name of Jesus Christ, bow down your heads everywhere that you are praying. You are in let's pray. Bow down your heads. Psiutras in the Father, in the name of Jesus, once again, we want to thank you. Papa, we bless you for bringing us or gathering us before your presence. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. We have come to look unto you as a servant, look unto the master, the maid servant, unto the mistress. So your children will look to you. Your word says, apart from you, we can do nothing. Again, your word says that looking unto you, the whole time, the finish of our fate. Because of the joy that was set before you, you endure the cross. We pray that, Lord, you give us the spirit of patience, the spirit of endurance, the spirit to look to you and hold on to. Because we know one day we will lay down our troubles, our pains, and everything for a crown. And courage and strengthen us, empower us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray everywhere. Amen. There is a race that I must run. And there are some victories to be won. And give me power every hour. Hour to be true. I am under the rock. The rock is higher than I. Jehovah hides me. Hides me under the rock. Tell my enemies. I am under the rock. A Jehovah hides me, hides me under the rock. Why does a person come under attack? Why? 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 Why do people go and come under attack? Why are many people's life and their destiny under attack? Adentina nipa bebre. Ho hau mama niemu. Niemu angrofo komo. Be a real teacher, my brother. Be a Many people are suffering, many people are going through different kinds of problems, not because of something that you did, not because of anything, because of what the Lord wants to do with your life. It is my prayer. My brother, my sister, do not let anybody force you to know the Lord. Don't let anybody convince you with their own words. But I pray that the Holy Spirit is himself will convince you. That you will encounter the Lord. You will have a relationship with the Lord. Everywhere that you are listening to me. Have you sat down and thought of few things? Do you know that it is true that Jesus is coming? Jesus said, in my father's house there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place and I will come back. Remember, in numbers he says, I am a God. I am not a man that lieth. Have I said it? 
I will not, I will not do it. And so every word that has proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord, God will come to pass. So what can I say? What can I say? And what can I say? Have you have you ever examined your life and say that I am? I, if I examine my life, am I in the faith? If Jesus is coming right now, my brother, my sister, it is not what you think. It is not what people are saying. It's what you are living, living the life. That is why the Bible says that we should present our bodies as a, a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable. And the good news is that the Bible said this is our reasonable service. This is what we have called on to. I every day tell you. And when I tell you, I also tell myself. Whether I believe or you believe. Whether you don't believe. Whether somebody says. It is true. Jesus is coming. Everything points towards his coming. Look around. You just turn and look around. And you see that it is true. Jesus is coming. He said he's not a man that lied. Has he said it? Will he not come to will it not come to pass? When you read the Bible, you study the Bible very well, you, you, you will understand that everything that the Lord Jesus said is coming to pass, and some has come to pass. Are you sure you are a Christian? Just ask yourself. Not a church goer. Are you sure you have a relationship? Do you believe Christians, pastors, men and women of God? Are we sure we are servants of Jehovah? Are we sure we are doing the will of God? A question that every believer, every Christian, you have to ask yourself. Many. Are you sure if Jesus is coming right now? Will you be part of the it, the Bible says nobody knows the time he will come. He will come like a thief. A thief cometh when nobody knows. By the time you realize they have come and gone, the same thing will be his coming. The Bible says with a twinkle of an eye, in a moment, the trumpet will sound. And when the trumpet sounds, will you be part of the chosen one? There is a song that goes, when the trumpets of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. When people are gathered together, will you be part of it? Jesus is coming. A true believer will always want to hear the true word of God. Won't hear and straighten his or her life. Because one day Jesus will show up. One day our king will come. And the Bible says that we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And we will give accounts. What accounts are you going to give? What accounts are you going to give? Do you believe he's coming? The Bible says he's coming. And he has his rewards in his hand. And Jesus will give to everybody according to his word. Whether you believe it, whether somebody believe it, whether he has been said it, yes, he is coming. Yes, Shuba. If you are please watching us on the Facebook, if you can share for us, we'll be glad. Who's listening to us on the radio, you also can call somebody, a friend, to come and hear the word of God. And those who are also watching on the YouTube, and everywhere, share for people to know. Oh, in this end time, we don't have men and women of God who are ready to preach the good news of Christ. A few people, few men and women of God are ready. If you have in mind, if you have been thinking, men and women of God that have before them and their mind that there is a heaven, then you preach the good news and the message. Be a unimse heaven. Be
when you read Job chapter 1 and the verse 21, 20, Job said, nothing I came with and nothing will I leave. God has given and if God takes, praise be to his name. The Bible says, Jesus said, take it <laughs> for, and beware of covetousness for the, the man's life. Your life is not in the abundance of things that you possess or you have. Nobody. Your life is not in the abundance of things that you possess. <laughs> Ex scripture. I always want to read Isaiah chapter 1 and the verse 2. When the Lord himself was lamenting over the people he has chosen and people that he has created. He said, oh hear heavens and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have knowledge and brought up children and they have rebelled against me. People have rebelled. Many people have rebelled against the Lord. Because they believe that by their own power, by their own strength, that they wake up in the morning and they, they, they are able to do everything that they want to do. Behold, I every day tells you, and I will continue to tell you, when you wake up in the morning, go and stand outside. In the afternoon, stand outside. In the evening, in the night, and see how nature has been created. And let the Spirit of God give you understanding that somebody created it. It, is, it did not come. The question that somebody said, if God created it, who created God? And I, 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 I continue to tell them, if you give your mind something to think about, your mind will always tell you something. But do not think that God, the Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And so everything began with God. Everything began with God. I pray that you will be able to live a righteous life. Walk in righteousness, and in this life you end well, very well. Walk in righteousness, and in this life you see the glory of God. Walk in righteousness, and the Lord will glorify you. One day you lay down every trouble. One day you lay down every pain, and wear the crown. Of life and a crown of glory. May the Lord bless you. The second day of our fasting and prayer, releasing the acts of God against the enemy of my calling. Against the enemy of my calling. Your calling, your destiny, something that God has planted you on this earth for. The enemy don't want you to smile. The enemy don't want you, you to be happy. The enemy don't want you to enjoy your life. Because Jesus himself said it. That the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill. And to destroy. But he said, Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. That is why Jesus said, in me, in, the Bible said, in him is life. And that life is the light of man. Pray that you will understand. Let's go and read our scripture that God through his servant and the great man of God that the Lord through him has blessed our life and our ministry and has brought us this far in the Lord through uh, evangelist dynamic and apostle of a bright as of the apostle chapter 13 the verse 8 through 12 and let's read the word of God he says that but Elmas the sorcerer, Elmas the sorcerer, for so is he, his name by interpretation. We stood them, seeking to turn them away, the deputies from their faith. Somebody, <laughs> when you read the Bible, you see that it was God who called them through the Holy Spirit to separate them. My brother, my sister, it is God who has called you. It is God who created you and brought you to, uh, to this earth. God has a purpose. Again, speak to your spirit man or speak to your spirit woman and tell her 
You will live and I will declare the goodness of God. Speak to yourself that it shall be well. So long as Christ is new, this life you will win. Whether the devil like it or not, whether somebody believe you in you or do not believe in you, this life you will win. You will win. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord empower you and give you the grace and the strength to win every life. He said, then Saul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eye on him. Don't sit down for people to destroy. I every day tell you, this earth is filled with wickedness. We are seeing there are people that are filled with evil. And all they think about is to do evil and to destroy. But I pray that you will never fall into their traps. Into the, uh, the, the trap that they have set. May the Lord protect you. And said, then so filled with the Holy Ghost at his side, and said, Oh, full of all subtle, subtlety and all mischief, that child of the devil, that child of the devil, everybody who allows himself, herself to be used by the devil becomes the child of the devil. Remember, Jesus told Peter that the devil has purpose and I've decided to save you like a wheat, but I have prayed for you. If you allow yourself, oh man, who crying bonsam before me? There are many people the devil use their own hands to destroy their own home, use their own life, use their own wealth, which this destroy. Until they realize everything has been destroyed. I pray that you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. That you'll be able to resist the devil. And the devil will flee from you in the name of Jesus Christ. He says that you feel with subtlety and mischief the child of the devil. Thou enemy of the righteous. Thou, thou not ceased to perfect the right way of the Lord. And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee. Thou shalt be blind and not see the sun for a season. And immediately there flew on <laughs> Him, the mist and darkness, and he went about seeking someone to lead him by the hand. He went about wherever you are. I pray that every enemy of your life, your destiny, of your family, may the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord release the fire of heaven unto them and give you victory on every other side in the name of Jesus. Why, why, why do people come and at attack? Why was Paul and Barnabas? Why were they on attack? I didn't know what attack was. And today I pray that somebody will understand. Let me go and read a scripture in Isaiah chapter 59 and the verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. It says, and when the enemy shall come in like a flood, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. My brother, many people do not understand this scripture because they do not read it correctly. They don't read it correctly. It says, it's the spirit of the Lord that shall, shall rise like a flood. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord will raise like a flood. It will raise like a standard. Will bring a standard and seize the enemy. Meaning that the, the enemy will come in. But the Lord will lift up like a flood. He says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, like a flood, like a flood, the Lord. And so it is not the enemy that any bonsam neighbor says it's you, but also so bonsam ba. The same it's you when you make a picture. No, the Lord will lift up like a flood. The Lord, and so the Lord will lift like a flood. The Lord will prevent the way of the enemy and give you peace. May the Lord begin to give you peace in the name of Jesus. Why do people come and attack? A person come and attack because. The enemy wants to conquer. The enemy, the devil, wants to conquer you. My brother, my sister, 
<laughs> Remember. The reason why God bless you, woman of God. I am Paul and I. <laughs> Son, God bless you. The reason why <laughs> Joseph was attacked. Not because of anything. Joseph was attacked because of his dreams and his visions. What did God wants to do with your life? What the plans of God? Yesterday I told you that God has a plan. God has a plan for your life. You are not mistaken born on earth you did not come on this earth mistakenly eh? you did not come on this earth accidentally many about many about don't think you came on this earth accidentally will be on my way will not be able to say what you say what do you want to say that is a ending of bible kf proverbs 1 and the verse 7 he said for beginning of wisdom is the fearing of god and yes i'll cross for it and yes i'll grab bible Good news is that go and read Psalm 25 and the verse 14. The Bible said the secret of the Lord is with them that fears him. And the Lord showed them his covenant. The Lord showed them his covenant. Somebody who fears the Lord. Somebody <laughs> when nobody is there. Can be like Joseph. No wonder the, the glorious end of Joseph has been spoken and we continue to speak about it. Because when God was, nobody was around. He stood as a servant, as somebody who fears the Lord. The devil wants to conquer you because <laughs> he, you, he, he wants to suppress you. That your visions and your dream will not come to pass. The purpose and the will of God will not come to pass. He says, when the enemy comes in, like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard. When the enemy shall come in, like a flood, the Spirit of God will rise up a standard and prevent. God is ever ready. And from Genesis to Revelation, God has been fighting on behalf of his people. Remember Jehoshaphat. When Jehoshaphat and his men were attacked, all that the, the Lord told Jehoshaphat, the battle is not yours, your battle. The battle is of the Lord. Remember when the Israelites got to the Red Sea, all that God told Moses to tell them, tell them to stand still in me. They are in for, for what they will gain, not what they can do with their life for Christ. I pray that you will not leave this world like that. Listen to me. Don't come into this world and live your life anyhow. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Identify. Identify your gifts. The Bible says for a man's gift will make room for him and will to bring him before kings. You have something in you. You were created in the image of God. You were created for a purpose. But remember the devil will not let you let the plans come to pass. When we read us of the Apostle chapter 13, the Bible says that from the beginning that we read yesterday, we read, you see, you see that, uh, that uh, the Bible says when the church of Antioch, when the Antioch church, they got there, they were prophets, they were pastors, they were everybody. And the people, they were fasting and praying, they were waiting on the Lord. Nobody fast for nothing. Many so per se, Nyamitrim, Pobi, Bemwa, Bomodiana came, begin to wait on the Lord. Begin to wait on the Lord. Because the Bible says that they that wait on the Lord, they are renewed in strength. And even before, when you read Isaiah 40, before it says that, Isaiah 40 and the verse 30, <laughs> he says that, verse 29, he says he gives power to the weak. And those that who don't have might, he increase. And so if you need strength, if you need power on this earth, go to the Lord. Seek the Lord and you find it. Why do people come? And attack. What? Why are you going through what you are going through? I didn't think that you be on my day. Be a no a brabon in a quatre. Mamma on your bonny be off. But what a puppy be free ones up. A bushy be be free ones up. God that would be such a dear pan, the beshebber in my moor. Near my way, dear me. 
times you can also ask what came on this this boy or this woman maybe it can be your children it can be a, a, a friend there are some friends that comes closer to us that are very dangerous it is not there but because the enemy used them as a vessel to destroy and um, stood before paul stood before barnabas and said i will prevent them from fulfilling what god has called them why? Because the Bible says, as they were ministering and as they were fasting, the Holy Ghost said, separate me, Barnabas, and so for the work unto which I have called. And so God has called them. That is why God asked them to be separated. A child of God, listen to me. Woman, listen to me. Somebody, listen to me. God has a purpose for your life. In this world, you are not in... I, again, listen to me. You are not mistakenly in this world. I every day say, this world is like a market. Marketplace, take it as Ghana Makola Market or Kijetia Market. There are many people who go there with different purpose. Others go there to sell, to make money. For others go there just to look around. Others go there just to help people. And so I don't know the reason why, why you are, you God has created you. But I believe God has a purpose for your life. I just want to summon me here. I thank God. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. Be faithful unto the Lord. Because when you become faithful to the Lord, my brother, woman, listen to me. This life you end very well. I just want to say, maybe you have not decided to worship God in spirit and in truth. Maybe you have not decided to do the will of God. You want to listen to people, you want to see all the miracles. Because of your pain and your problem, you want everything to come faster. It doesn't work that way. In the kingdom, it is principle. Be patient. Be patient. The enemy will come. The devil always wants to conquer you. He wants to conquer you and put you under. A person comes under attack because of the enemy wants to suppress you. The devil always wants to suppress people. He will not see for that, that, that vision to come to pass. He will not see for that purpose. And so you have attack. Even in the church. You have attack in your company. Even in your marital home. Marital home. You come and attack. Why? I, I every day tell people. That I have never seen enemies. Standing. <laughs> in the boxing ring. Have you seen any, any, any people waiting in the boxing ring? You never see. You see them. At the church, even at the whole marriage ceremony, look at the smile. Last weekend, I saw a couple who were getting married in Houston here. And I look at their face, how the, the guy was smiling, how the woman was smiling. And you see how happy both of them were. But why? Why? Why so many started very good and they ended in the end as enemies? Have you asked yourself? Have you asked yourself? Releasing the acts of Jehovah against the enemy of your call, your life, the enemy of your destiny. When you mean sorry, ma'am, you will come under attack because of your destiny. The destiny, the destiny, because of your destiny and your vision. Let me go and read the scripture for you to know. I want to read Genesis chapter 30 to 37. 37. And here, here, 37 and the verse 19. And here, what the brothers of Joseph said when Joseph was coming. He says, And they said one to another, Behold, this, this dreamer cometh. They, they, Joseph was their brother. But you know one thing, they forget about his name. They, they identified Joseph because of his vision and because of his dream. Because of what the Lord is about to do with his life. Many are there. What God wants to do with your life. That is why you have to stand up. The song that goes stand up, stand up for Jesus. He's so just of the cross. Let up his royal, let up the royal banner of the Lord and let it not suffer loss. Let it not loss, suffer loss. I will, I will speak about the seven prayer, kinds of prayer 
In this course, I will speak about seven kinds of prayer. There are seven vehement and prayer kinds of prayer a Christian should pray. Don't sit down and fold your hands. And sit down and give excuses to your life thinking that manna will fall from heaven. <laughs> Don't sit down and think that everything will come your way. You go and somebody will give you. I every day tell you. Give you a direction. Go and do this. Go and do this. <laughs> and everything will be open unto you. The only direction that somebody can give you that will yield success is to tell you go and live a righteous life. Go and live a, live a righteous life. <laughs> that is the only direction. Go and read the Bible. Jesus will tell them, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. For if you go and sin, double that trouble will come on you. I pray that. He says, come now therefore and let us slay him. Cast him into the same pit. And we will see. So we say some evil beasts have defiled him, and we shall see what will come become of his dream. I pray that nobody will destroy the dream and the vision and the destiny of God over your life. Don't sit down for anybody to destroy your destiny. Men transim will be in Sewa Brabo. Be Sewa Brabo. Be in Saidin, I mean, I can't follow Brabo. Men transit. And you're quite full. Transit, son, and funny men, you want to. They have a reason for everything. One one by a crow reason. The Bible says, Christosum wa kumemu. That who refuses the Bible, ne kase, Christosum wa kumemu, ne kase, and ne me busu wa kumemu, and the pee, who refuses. Who refuses? The funny of my you, one. If you are saying, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, against principality. The same Bible says, though we walk in the flesh, but our weapons, they are not carnal. They are mighty through God, pulling down off every stronghold. And the exciting thing about it is that it says every imagination, your thoughts. And so for a Christian to win this battle of life, you have to overcome your thoughts and your imaginations. I pray that, that every demonic attack under which you are, you, that person comes under attack because of his existence and, and threatening the existence of other people. There are people, the reason why many people hate you. You know the reason why. When they see you, you remind them of their weakness. And so they begin to hate you. That is why I tell everybody, the people who have traveled overseas, that this is the time for you to be. Because people back home, People that, that thought that you have succeeded in life, the envious and jealousy will cause them to plan to destroy your life. But there are many people that they were in prayer camps. Mame, Mame, Adunfa. Many people were in the prayer camp praying God, open the door for us. And God did it. He's a prayer answering God. And you travel to various Europe, America, Asia. And after you landed there, he said, God, forget. Let me be honest to you. For you to maintain the same blessing that the Lord through open the door, you have to maintain the same level of prayer. If you don't maintain the same level of prayer, that uh, the prayer that you were praying in that prayer camp in Ghana, you can never succeed. But if you want to rise above that, that blessing, you have to rise over that prayer level. But how many people? person comes under that because he is trying to escape from the hands of the slave masters. If you decide to escape from your hands of your slave masters, like what the most people are going through. Recently you saw how, how our brother was butchered. Daylight, daylight he was butchered. How, how our blacks are being killed. You see, because the, the slave masters, the masters always want you to be slave. 
The devil wants you to be slave. Within the family everywhere, they want you to be slave. And so if, if, if you do try anything possible, the enemy, why do people come and attack? Paul and Barnabas came and attack because the enemy knows that they were in for a business. They did not want them to fulfill that task that God has separated them for. And so the sorcerer Amma, has to come and stand in. He says that I will turn their hearts back. We will hold them our sin in Kete. So we will have our sin in Kete. We will have our sin in Kete. So we will have our sin in We will have our sin in Kete. So we will have our sin in Kete. We will have our sin in because if you, if you smile or if you sit upon your throne, if you're able to achieve it, the whole world will turn around. Maybe many people depend on you. But when the Lord, the Bible says the day, go and read Psalm 126. The Bible says when the Lord turned the captivity of Israel, they were like them that dream dreams. Why? Because when they sat by the Babylon river, the Bible says, but the rivers of Babylon, they sat down and they wept. They were going through difficult times. But when they cry unto the Lord, the Lord turned it around. Woman, listen to me. The Lord will make it possible. Let that, the Lord will cause you to smile. The Lord will cause you to smile. The Lord will open the heavens unto you. The Lord will come to pass. Make every promise concerning your life come to pass. If you will hearken unto the Lord and worship him in spirit and in truth. Let me talk about destiny. The destiny. Why people people come and attack because of his or her destiny? Because your destiny is like an eagle. Your destiny is like an eagle. <laughs> you are soaring higher. You are moving higher. And so they, they will take, the enemy will try as much as possible. Turn you away from your destiny. <laughs> well, I was looking what is the destiny and some, some of the things I wrote down destiny is, the, is that one thing that you must do one thing that you must do <laughs> one thing every human being has been asked to make and contribute to this earth every human being everyone God has created you in the image God has created you to contribute something to this earth don't sit down and tell yourself that you are no you are no good for anything. Who told you? Who told you? There is something in you. There is a better thing in you. You are a mother. You are a father. <laughs> you, you are a household leader. Something in the inside is working on the other side. <laughs> Destiny is <laughs> it says means finding your place in this world. To find your place in this world. Find your place. You have to find your place in this world. There is a place that God has created for you. That is the reason why that the enemy will destroy. It is the divine prophetic agenda for your life. The Bible says that God told Jeremiah. Let's go and read Jeremiah chapter 1 and read verse 5 and see what God told Jeremiah. Let me go to Jeremiah and see. What God told Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1 and the verse 5. And let's hear the word of God. <laughs> Let me start from the verse 4. It said, the, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I know thee. And before I created, I, I, you came forth out of the womb. I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Then said I, O Lord, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. And so, <laughs> Jeremiah himself thought he was a child. And so, how, how, can, how can you, you, how can I do something better? No, my life is not worth anything. My brother said, you know, who person who catches me say, who can person who catches me say, me ko me 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 and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of the face, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in thy mouth. The only thing you need in this life is the touch of Jehovah. No wonder Jesus told the Israelites, Don't leave Jerusalem. Go and dwell in Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the Father. And the Bible says, When you shall receive power, when the Holy Ghost has come upon you, the transformation of a life is through the Holy Ghost. 
your that dream will come to pass. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Spirit of God. One thing that you need is the Holy Spirit. From the creation, I every day tell you, read Genesis chapter 1 and the verse 2. The Bible says in the beginning, the earth was formless. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the earth. What was the Spirit doing? Bringing creation out of nothing. Bringing creation. That is the Spirit of God. The same Spirit visited Mary. And Mary said, I am a virgin. How can this be? How can this be? And he says that you shall be overshadowed by the Holy Spirit. It is the same Spirit that lifted Christ from death. And the Bible says, if the same Spirit, Romans 8 and the verse 11, that lifted Christ from death dwells in us, it is the same Spirit that will quicken our mortal bodies. When Kennedy and Japan started, everybody was talking about it. I am one person that I was praying that the Lord would give him strength. Because it is so sad that many, many people's lives have been in danger and have been destroyed by greedy using the name of the Lord. If you see me do, going wrong in the ministry, tell me. When you tell me you love me, and I will tell you you love me. I will tell you you love me. And let me be honest to you. At times, some people insult us. And sometimes people send us message, ugly messages. But you do you know that God through their messages are polishing us. I thought there will be one with me send a message. No, do what them. We all send a message of how no can you match out. You think that the person is enemy? No. The Lord will use their words to straighten you and correct you. correct you. Indeed, indeed, I have learned to accept every criticism and pray over. Maybe I may not know, but the Lord through them will speak to me. There may be false criticism. There may be right criticism. But just sit down and examine it. You will get there. I say you will get there. May the Lord strengthen you. Minia, when you have been in the Bible, you will when you make money, Bosch, Pabi, Abemo, no one needs a year pay. When you make a year pay, a yen a radi, yes, a Christo demo. Miss one is a bad day, a baby pay. Now Abemo, a yes, a Christo demo. Hallelujah. Let's also go and see a young man that the Lord called. And when the Lord called and said that you have had favor before God, go and lead the people of God. Then you will see what Gideon said. Gideon said unto the Lord. <laughs> the Bible says that the Lord visited Gideon because of the sin of the Israelites. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. The Bible says after God created man, God said subdue the earth. There is something good in you. There is something good in you. You have a need. But I will talk about how many people's their life has been tied down. Many people's destiny has been tied down. And they don't know. They don't know. Somebody has tied you down. And when you are being tied down, though there is a need for your life, but you cannot perform that need. You need a breakthrough. You need a deliverance. You need it. That is why you have to release the acts of Jehovah to destroy the enemy of your life and your calling. That is why when we are fasting, fast and pray with us. Don't think fasting is for some people. It's for some few people. Especially the Remember that we pray the brightness of the heart. Of this and here in here, come to the man. Here in here, come by the man. Remember that we pray. But you want to know, oh, oh, John, so who be angry? I mean, who mumbo? I mean, who mumbo? Not that one. I mean, who mumbo? But the man so many already. We be aware here. We be aware here. We be aware here. There are many of them. If if they have sickness, visit them or knock at their door, then they begin to call pastors. So for no money, you matter. No from say, come and pray for us. May the Lord have mercy on you. Jesus is coming. 
Jesus is coming everywhere that you are listening to us. Jesus is coming. Prepare yourself. Whether you like it, whether you believe it or not, your destiny. I continue to speak about the destiny that God has prepared. The destiny is what God has in mind about you. God has in mind about you. Go and read Jeremiah 29 and the verse 11. Say, I know the thought I have for you, not evil, to give you a future. <laughs> God wants to give you a future and a hope. He wants to bless your life. Hallelujah. Let me go and read the word of God. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and you shall smite. <laughs> Judges chapter 16. Sorry, Judges chapter 6. Judges chapter 6. And the verse 14, 13. And let me go back to 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thy mighty man of valor. The Lord is with thee. And Gideon said unto him, O Lord, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? Say, Urade Kanyan Hua. Linia, Urade Boho. Christo Nibi or Nobi or Nua Sin, Yami, Yami, Yami Fane Born Ton and Tem, one a One a catcher, so Yami Fane Born Ton and Tem. When Yami Ton and Born Tem, Pa. No, when Yami Kasaya. Bible, you go and read the Bible. Read Hebrews chapter 10 and the verse 30, 30 and 31. 30 says, Vengeance belongs to God. 31 says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. David was given that between human and God. He says that for the, the punishment of God is so harsh. Uh, so yeah, Cain said that my punishment is bigger than me. Many a many a no yami a kasu tiye odi pa uka. Ubet many yami a desi. Your bossiness as nobody can contend with God. No human being. Tell me one person who will say I will not die. I am bigger than God. I don't believe in Him, and so I will not die. I will not grow old. <laughs> Those these theologians and these people that these atheists, they will say there is no God. But what, uh, no matter what they say, they have died and gone. Yesterday, you also sit down and believe that there is no God. What they trust You sit down. Sit down and think that there is no God. One day you will live to regret. That enemy will attack you because of your destiny. Don't think that you are good for nothing. There is something in you. You were created in the image of God. No matter you, your, your place today, it is working together for your good. God is, is working. Then what matters is how you end this life. How you end this life? How you end this life? That is what matters. And you end well with the Spirit of God. With the Lord on your side, you end well. Gideon said, if God be for us, why have we been suffering this? And he says, and where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of, saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us. Deliver us into the hands of the Midians. And the Lord, and the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might. Thou shalt save Israel from the hands of the Midian. I have not sent, have I not sent thee? And he said unto him, O oh, my Lord, where thou shalt I go? Behold, my family is the poor in the Manasseh, and I am even the least of my father's house. And so he began to list, he began to list. <laughs> his problems, thinking that he was good for nothing. My brother, my sister, listen to me. Listen to me, a child of God. What matters is allowing yourself to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And this is one thing that the end time Christians are lazy about. Waiting on the Lord and doing the right thing. I every day tell you, I continue to tell you, it is not what you say. It is not what somebody is saying. It is what the word of God is saying. Jesus said, I am coming and I have my reward in my hand. I will give to everybody according to his word. Whether you believe it or not, it does, it does, it does no matter your clan, your religion. It does no matter what. When he comes, the works, that we, your works, you'll be judged by your works. And you know one thing. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father. The only way is Jesus Christ. Let me, let me tell you. There is a saying in our, our language that if you don't know where you are going, every route will take you. Every route will take you. It is not so in the kingdom. It is not so. Yes, there are many religions. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father. And so without Jesus, nobody has salvation. Tell them. Sound it to their ears. And tell them to run to the Lord Jesus Christ everywhere. 
Jesus is coming. <laughs> don't 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 sit down and, and tell yourself. Gideon thought that he, he was the least in his father's house, and and even the poor in my, the clan of Manasseh. But the Bible says he chooses the foolish things of this world to shame the wise, things that people don't consider. People, that is why at times you see some people that you thought that they they were on their way to hell, but all of a sudden they will make a U-turn. The grace of God will bring them. And when they encounter the Lord Jesus Christ, then they begin to do the, what God has commanded. God told them, said Paul and, and Barnabas, for me unto the work, I have called them. But when you read the Bible, there was a sorcerer, Emmas, who stood, stood in their way to destroy what God, what God wants them to fulfill. The devil will not allow you to fulfill every promise of God. The devil will not. Again, Jesus said, for he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. All that he is doing is to destroy. Yes, the Christians continue to sit down, full of excuses. Full of excuses. Because we don't have leaders, preachers, who preach the truth. Nobody wants to hear the truth. Nobody wants to hear the truth. Nobody wants to hear. As John the Baptist came and was preaching repentance, nobody. But whether you like it or not, a day is coming. The, the day of the Lord is coming. I pray. That darkness will not, not befall you on your way. I pray that you repent. You hear the word of God. And make a U-turn and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Before your time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming. My brother, my sister. Releasing the acts of Jehovah. Against the enemy of your call. The enemy of your destiny. God has a purpose for your life. God has a purpose for your life. God has a purpose. And your destiny. The destiny that God has for you is to fulfill. Let it come to pass. But it, it will never come to pass when you sit down and fold your arms if you don't stand up. The Bible says when the enemy comes in, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard. God is ever ready, always ready to fight for his children. God is always ready to give his children victory. People who look up to him. People who wait on him. People who call, call his name out of a pure and a true heart. People who have sanctified themselves and set themselves apart for him. The Bible says, if you have forgotten, let me remind you. Chronicles, first, uh, Chronicles, Second Chronicles 16 and verse 9. The Bible says, for the eye of the Lord is running to and fro. What is the eye running to and fro? The Lord is showing, wants to show himself on behalf of those who are is perfect and righteous. I pray that you be one of them. Pray that you be one of them. Attacking the enemy of your calling. Attacking the enemy of your calling. Praying and standing in the gap. You are wanting that people tend to forget. One thing that people tend to forget that uh, when you can be tied down in spirit, there are many people, there are many men and women of God that their spirit, people who are walking on this earth, that their spirit have been tied down. They have been tied down. Yesterday I read the scripture. And let me go back and read that scripture. Let me go that back and read First John. First John. First John chapter. Let me go and read the, 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 the NIV. Okay. First John. First John. Chapter 5, 1 John 5, and the verse 19. And hear the word of God. He says, And we know that we are of God. We know that we are of God. And the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world. The world that God has created lies in wickedness. The whole world. The world like lies in wickedness. And so because of wickedness, my brother, my sister, you have to begin to stand. You have to, to stand. My brother told me that he came and told me that two things that one needs to protect is one, your destiny, and two, two your end. If you are sitting near me, you know, and what Christian you have to protect and your destiny, your destiny, what God created you for. You have to protect your destiny. There are many people that their destiny, uh, reason why they came on this earth, somebody has destroyed it. Their destiny have been exchanged. They have exchanged their destiny. They have been tied down. 
The heavy tide of the world is filled with wickedness. The world is filled with wickedness. Let me go and read Zachariah. And let me go and read Zachariah, chapter 5. And let me read verse 5 and 8. And let's see. Let's hear. He said, Then the angel who was speaking to me came forward and said unto me, Look up and see what is up appearing. And I asked, What is it? And he replied, It is a basket. And he added, This is the iniquities of the people throughout the land. Throughout the land. Then the, then the cover of the lead. Let me go back. It's the iniquity of the people of the land throughout the land. Then the cover of the lead was raised. And there in the basket sat a woman, sitting, sat in a woman, and he said, this is the wickedness. And he pushed her back into the basket and pushed the lead to cover. Then I looked up, and there before me were two women with wings in their wings, and they had wings like those of a stroke, and they left, lifted up the basket between heaven and earth. Wickedness. He was talking about wickedness. Wickedness in the world. This world is full with wickedness. And so a child of God, if you don't pray, somebody will tie your spirit. Somebody will fight you. There are generational cases. Genesis chapter 15 and verse 16 says, But in the fourth generation, they shall come here again for the iniquities of Ammonites. And so don't sit down for people to tie, tie you, somebody to tie your spirit. Will be one more. You are tying the spirit. And will be one more. Because the enemy don't want that destiny to come to pass. The enemy don't want that call to come to pass. The enemy don't want your family to succeed. But you don't want to pray. You don't want to, you don't want to worship God. You don't want to do the right thing. You don't want to live a righteous life. You don't want to live a righteous life. How can you fulfill the whole? Let me talk about uh, the havoc that could be done against the spirit man. The havoc that could be done against the spirit man. Some of the things that the enemy can do. The first thing the spirit man can be arrested. Your spirit man can be arrested. Your spirit can be arrested. There are many people that will have dreams in your dreams. In your dreams, you see people trying to arrest you. They try to arrest you. And if you dream that people want to arrest you, trouble is, is knocking at your door. Trouble is knocking at your door. Police for police for You dream that there are police they are chasing you. The devil wants to arrest your spirit man or spirit woman. They want to address arrest you and put you under bandage, put you under oppression. The spirit can be caged. The spirit can be caged. Your spirit can be caged. Your spirit can also be caged. And so my prayer, my prayer that is that you'll be able, you'll be able to do the right thing. May the Lord God of heaven, may the Lord God of heaven protect your spirit. The spirit in them, a man, a woman, can also be oppressed. Can also be oppressed. Your spirit can also be possessed. At times you go to a deliverance, deliverance. And you see that the, the, the man have been possessed or that woman will be possessed and the spirit will be speaking through. No, the spirit within her, her, her real spirit or his real spirit will be silent. And that spirit will possess him will be talking. And so there are many things that many people are going through. Many people, their spirit have been tied down. Woman, don't allow yourself, don't allow your destiny to be tied down. Jesus said, for, for the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for the Lord has sent me to preach the gospel. He went on to say that to release those who are in captivity, there are many people, their lives are in captivity. The enemy is oppressing them. Don't want their destiny to come to pass. Don't want them to sit upon their throne. Don't want them to see the glory of God. My brother, my sister, I want us to end here so that we can pray today. Today I want us to pray more. They say, Bompire. They will continue tomorrow. Continue tomorrow. Releasing the acts of God. Releasing the acts of God. Against the enemy of your destiny. <laughs> the enemy of your call. Every call that God has called you. You have to fulfill it. Your family is a call. Your job is a call. 
your purpose on this earth whatever you are doing don't sit down don't fold your hands this is the time that you begin to stand up it's the time that you begin to sit up and begin to pray are you sure you have the protection of god the bible said they that dwell under the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty abide under the shadow when you abide in the lord then a ten will fall on your right hand and ten thousand at your left hand side and with your eye you see the reward of the enemy with your eye you will see the reward of the enemy my prayer for you is that every that is waging war against you with your eye you will see the only thing that you dwell in the in the secret place of the most high that is the only thing and to dwell in the lord to dwell in the lord May you not be sold to the devil. May the Lord empower you so that you can override your enemies and every purpose and every will of God will come to pass. May you be empowered in your daily activities. May the heavens be open unto you. May the Lord give you success. If you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, the word of God will not come uh, to you. If uh, We will always and every day give you an opportunity to accept Christ as your personal Savior. Jesus is coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Christ is coming. Yes, sir. Live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. I mean, Papa, live a righteous life. The Lord is coming. In our fasting and prayer, in our daily works and everything, let's live a righteous life. Let's know that the Lord is coming. If you have heaven in mind, you live a righteous life. If you have heaven in mind, you try as much as possible. Live a blameless life. We cannot, somebody said we won't, cannot live a sin, sinless life, but we can live a blameless life. We pray that the blood of Jesus, we will allow ourselves for the blood of Jesus. And so if you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, say this after me. Say today, I, then you mention your name. I accept you, Lord, as my personal Savior. Your word says that if anybody be in you, he is a new creature. Every old things are passed and everything has become new. As I have accepted you today, and old things are passed. When you begin to order my steps, your way says you are the God that ordered the steps of the righteous. Begin to guide me. Begin to, to protect me. Cause my heart to live a righteous life until you come. Or call me this from this earth. In Jesus' name. Somebody say Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you everywhere that you are listening to us. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. All I want to tell you, find a church. Find a church. Find a church. Go to a church where you hear the true word of God. Go to a church where you cannot sit and you will not comfortably sit in your you never see the glory of God. Go to a church where a church that is filled with the Holy Ghost. That, that your heart will be prepared for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. Begin to thank God. Let's enter into a time of prayer. Begin to thank God everywhere. Thank God for the word of God. Thank God. Begin to thank God. Pray and thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Rakoda bonda brasende rebe koro branda zande rebe. Raba bonda brakodo zobriada ba. Makoto kondo brakade zende rebe. Somebody begin to pray. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have pray with us. Begin to thank God. We have come to pray. We have come to pray against spirits that will prevent us. That spirit that will stand in our way, preventing us from sitting upon our throne. Thank God the Bible said for the word of God never come in vain but it comes to a complete or fulfilling purpose. We are praying against every sorcerer every spirit that is seeking to turn you away from the faith. We are praying just thank God. Bless the name of our Lord. Just give God the praise. Give him praise. Thank God everywhere. A child of God begin to thank God. Begin to bless the name of Jehovah. Bless his name. Give him praise. Give him glory. 
thank God for for the Lord. Thank God for God has a purpose for your life and it has to come to pass. The will of God has to come to pass. God has a plan for your life. The Bible says it is working together for your good. You see it, you handle it, and you sit upon it in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. Listen, I am going to lift up a prayer topics and we all will pray. i fighting against the, the enemy of your calling, your destiny, your vision, Joseph's life was under threat not because of anything, because of his vision. Because of his vision. And so all that they said, come and let's kill him and see whether that, that dream will come to pass. That dream will come. Woman, listen to me. A child of God, listen to me. Nobody can pray for you better than you pray for yourself. Don't, 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 don't be deceived. And don't, don't lie. Don't, don't live your life in your pastor's hand. Don't live your life in your pastor's wife's hand. Hold your life in yourself and be pray. Go into the Bible. Read Matthew chapter 6. Jesus said, well, if you want to pray, enter your closet. And so it's an, an instruction that you yourself have to pray. Yes, I am not saying that it is not good for people to intercede for you. Yes, when Peter, Peter was in prison as of the apostle, the church was interceding for for, for him. But remember, Peter himself was also praying. He himself was a man of prayer. We are going to pray. We are lifting up a prayer against the spirit of Cain. The first prayer that we are going to uh, pray. The spirit that fight against our destiny. The uh, first spirit that fight against our prosperity, our success. That tried as much as possible to turn us. Is the spirit household wickedness. Household it is the spirit of heaviness, household witchcraft, household the great. Let me go and read Genesis chapter 4 and the verse 8. I call it the spirit of Cain. We are going to pray against spirits. Genesis chapter 4 and the verse 8. And let's hear. Let's hear. It says, And Cain talk with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field. Then Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And slew his own brother. I call it household wickedness. Wickedness within the household. Witchcraft. Altars within the household. And the things in the family that fight us. An aunt, an uncle, the host of witchcrafts in the family. Maybe you don't know. I'm in my family, my mother's family, the father's family, they are there. When you go there, young men, young women, their life have been destroyed. Ubi Abrabo say, Okaso Momo Mompaya, Ufiso Udia Gro, Udia Tramo, Name Mompaya, Ya Bompaya, Uma Tramo Dia, Ufi, Wabusium, Dibe Bray, what to cry, what to cry. Ya no be, sorry, okay, common sense. Don't you have the common sense to succeed? I every day tell you, go to the universities. Go to the universities. Great men and women with intellect have studied, but yes, sir, most of them are poor. They don't have even one million dollars in their accounts. But yes, sir, there are some people who have never been educated. And so you are telling me this, professor, they don't have common sense. It is not by might, it is not by power, but by the spirit, say yes, the Lord. I pray that you understand. We are praying against every spirit. Let my king die. Let your king, every spirit that emanates, comes from your family. Every demonic witchcraft, those that gather within the family, it was to destroy. And let fire look at them tonight, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray. We are praying household wickedness, wickedness within the family, household witchcraft. Pray in the name of Jesus, pray into your father's family, pray into your mother's family. Every demonic struggle, every demonic pattern, every spirit that destroy men and women in the family. We are praying, Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the acts of Jehovah. I release it into my mother's family. I release the acts into my mother's family. I release the acts into my mother's family. 
Somebody pray. pray. We are praying against household wickedness. Wickedness within the family. In the name of Jesus. In the blood. With the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Rock on the bond of Rasander Rebriaba. Rock on the bond of Rasinder. Rabba Banda Rabo Koro Braca Sander. E can the brand of Zondora Bonda Briacaraba. Rintanaba. Yeshumaja, Yeshumaja, Yeshumaja. Release the blood. Release the blood of Jesus into your father's family, into your mother's family. Every serpentine spirit, every groups of which class, every demons, every demonic shrine that wish that rise against you. Let fire locate them. Let tender locate them. Lika bonda brakono zobri adaba. Rokono bonda raka zandebre. Raka de bonda raka ndono bonda bri adaba. Father in the name of Jesus in the name. Raka de bonda raka dobo. Raba de kandaraba. Rabonda zenderebe. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Opium of a pray pray in the name of Jesus. Let fire locate every every demon every household wickedness every wickedness within the family rakonda bonda raka zenderebe rabonda raba zekoro bonda raka zenderebe raba banderebo opio ma we are praying we are praying against household wickedness in the name of jesus every spirit every altar every demonic altar in the family that will rise up against you that militate against you that fight against your destiny that stand between you and your destiny that wants to turn your destiny around let fire look at them. We are breaking. We are breaking. We are breaking. Rako de bonda prasende reba. Rako de bonda braka zonda reba ne bria reba. Rako de bonda braka zonda reba. Rapa pa de bonda braka zende reba. In the name of Jesus. In the name. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Rako de bonda braka zende reba. Ita da prasende reba koro branda zende reba. A bonda raba de brako de bo. Father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, people of God, my brother, my sister, don't just sit down. There are many people in the Bible that prayed a prayer of faith and God gave them victories. God turned their destiny around. And so, stand up everywhere that you are and pray a prayer of faith. Take your life into your hands and through the Holy Spirit turn it around and let the purpose and the will of God come to pass. The Bible says in Micah 5, uh, it says that for a man's household, a man's own enemy will be the enemies of his household. The enemy of your own household. <laughs> your enemies of your own household. Micah 7 and the verse 6 and 7. It says, for the son will dishonor the father, the daughter against the mother, the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. A man's enemy are the mans of his own household your enemies your enemies your enemies we are praying you are sending prayer into your family house every demonic shrine every demonic shrine let the fire the bible say elijah call fire elijah fray uja nebeshia for you a possible a bedroom a pambiere webusiam a pambiere webusiam remember gideon gideon has to go and destroy the altars of his father's family. When you read uh, Judges chapter 6 and verse 24 and verse 25, he has to go and destroy. Why? Because that, that altars were fighting against him. It was fighting against him and it was fighting against the purpose and the will of God for his life. And so we are praying into our homes, every demonic shrine, every demonic altar, every demonic covenant that, that is fighting you. Let the Lord destroy. Let the Lord destroy every demonic witchcraft. They are very wicked. The ones in the family, they are very wicked and they are very envious. Especially when the women, when they are women, you see that when you go into the family, and they are women, they are men, and one children, the Lord is, is, is prospering one of one side, and the other is not prospering, heaviness set in. They begin, and they will plan to destroy. We are praying, every envious spirit, every jealous spirit that is in your family, that wants to prevent the call of God on over your life, that wants to prevent the dream of God 
the plans of God for your life. Let fire look at them. Obi Oma Felix Pray, Ebo Paye, Ebu Shemu Huhum Biara, Ebu Shemu A, Eku Tia Wa Brabo, Yesu Mo Janga Mani Mo, Yesu Mo Janga Mani Mo, Uhuma Mo Me Papa Ebu Shemu, Uhuma Mo Me Mami Ebu Shemu Ni Brabo, Yesu Mo Janga Mani Mo, Yesu Mo Ja, Yesu Mo Ja, Obi Oma Pray, Every Demonic Quarter, Every Demonic Shrine, There Are Many Families, There Are Demonic Shrines, And That Shrine Will Fight You, Will Fight You, Will Cause You, Because You Have To Pay your home, pay homage unto that God, that's right. And you are not paying homage, and so they will fight you everywhere. My brother, we are praying. Oh, who are we are praying? Raketa Branda Zandorobo, Rakada Bonda Rabande Zekaro Brakadeba, Rakondorobunda Brakade Zanderebe, Rabba Pandere Boda Brakade Zanda, Rakandere Banda Brasanderebe, Rokodobunda Brakade Zandaraba, Rikodobo, Rakade Bonda Brakazanderebe. With us, Raketa Bonda Bra, Condor Bonda Bra, Ekanta Branda Sonor Bonda Brakadaba, Rapa Panderebo, Ricondor Bona, Rakandere Bona Bracano Zobriadaba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, somebody pray with us, Rabo, release the Son of Jehovah, release the Stone of Jehovah, release the blood of Jesus, Yeshumajan Gamanimo, Yeshumajan Gamanimo, Yeshumajan. Young come anymore. Yes, you are young come anymore. Yes, you are young come anymore. Somebody pray. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Rocco Bona Brasande Remede Briadaba. Rocco de Bona Bracande Remana Brando Zonorova. Akanaba Corobona Brasinde Rebe. Ipa Panda Rabonje Cabranda Sande Rebe. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. Rakedaba. Every demonic shrine. Every demonic shrine. Every demonic heaviness. Every envy. Spirit and jealous spirit within the family that wage war against your people. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rakono Bona Brakada Zebriadaba. Rokondo Briakadaba. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. In the name of Jesus. Again, we continue to pray. I have listed some prayers that we, we are going to pray that was done against your destiny, against your life, against the purpose of God. The second one, I call it the spirit of Ishmael. The spirit of Ishmael. The spirit of Ishmael. Let's go and see. Genesis chapter 16. I wrote it down. Genesis 16, verse 11 and 12. And let's see the spirit of Ishmael. What the Lord said concerning Ishmael. He said that, And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, I am with a child, and shall, be, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has heard thy affliction. Verse 12, he said, And he will be a wild man, a wild man. He will be a wild man. A wild man. <laughs> and his hand will be against every man. Against every man's hands. Against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of thy brethren. They are dwell in the presence. There are some people within our family. They are very wild. They are very wild. They, want, they don't want to see your success. My brother, my sister, child of God, listen to me. There are many people. Your life will be be more brabble. I am on you know, only a man, one pie and a traveler funny. My you want to be a catcher. So, who will be no catcher? Maybe you'll be a team in Yamaha. Will be a team in Yamaha. No question, make a job. Be a sass nipano. Men shed and you never shall know. Be a no way you pay for. When you pay for, be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one with your bosom. Be a no free sort of one <laughs> that was that was uh, was being interviewed, and the guy who was interviewed him asked him that uh, so uh, can they destroy me? He said, "Thank God, because who be anywhere about Mumbai? What won't soon be me? What won't soon be me? Soon be until who be be among Mumbai? Until we bet me a sale." Till never be brave or no, we are brave. I brought you now, boy. We are brave. I own you no sir. Any one here where you will be the moment you left the shores of Ghana, the moment you left the shores of Ghana. Ah, I quite quite brought you now. I hear you. Ye man, ye man, ye ninjeta. Ye man, ye ninjeta. I'm far away. Ye man, I'm far away. Krate mu. I'm far away. Krate mu. Na far away. Juma mu. Far away. Juma mu. And they will fight you everywhere. But pray. Now the name of you one, not the one. 
the spirit of Ishmael, the wild spirit that will cease, that will fight you, will fight you, will fight you until you fall, fall down. And so many people will die poor. Many people will die miserably. Many people, they will end this life they have some of them they are well educated but the enemy will disgrace you the devil they are wild they will disgrace your life and so this is the time as a child of god to stand in prayer Stand in prayer and begin to pray and destroy them. Some of us will testify. In many days and many years ago, the enemy wanted to destroy us. Everything was falling apart. Our lives were on the rock. And through the prayers of uh, uh, that we lifted, that God has brought us on our stand. And so we are praying. Every spirit of Ishmael that is fighting your life, every spirit that has become wild against your life, may the fire of Jehovah locate them. May the tender of God overlocate them. May the spirit of God strike them. Will be pure. The near prayer world against. He says that, and his hand shall be. He will wild. That is what the Bible says. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man. Look, they against every man. One minute you become. Why you become? Yeah, bomb here. Every spirit that have become wild towards you want to destroy. Let God arise in the name of Jesus. Begin to lift up a prayer everywhere that you are praying. Pray into your life that every spirit that have become wild wants to destroy you. Have determined they can be a friend. It can be a friend. It can be a friend and you will walk with that person. It can be a friend. And these days there are many men and men and pastors. There are people who call themselves pastors. They are not pastors. They are evil. The demonic scent. They are wound because of money and because of fame and destroy people's life. Woman preaching, woman can't hear me as a one year. Now, Crawford go on, so I don't know what's going on. Bravo, they they are demons and they will destroy your life. Pray if you don't pray, you will fall into their hands. And some of them will pray, they, they will wash your feet, they will give you anointing oil, they will give you all sorts of things. Yesterday, if you're listening to Kennedy and Japan's show, how they mix with thee and tell them it, it is the blood of Jesus, then you drink it. If in the pulpit, the Bible says when you see the abomination that caused remedy standing in the holy place, something that is not to be mentioned and is standing in the holy place, he said the, 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 the one that is standing must run. I pray that you know we are praying against all these spirits. The spirits that are wild, they are wild. They are in the pulpit. They are everywhere. They don't. They don't have the fear of God. They don't think about any human being. All they think about is fame and prosperity. I heard one man of God saying that in life all you need is money and fame. They are not of God. They are not of God. They are evil. They are demons. They have lost their integrity and they have sold their souls to the devil. We are praying against these wild enemies. It can be a friend. It can be an employee. It can be a pastor. It can be everything. They are wild. All they are thinking, their hands is against everybody to destroy life until they are sending many people to the, hell, the hellfire. May the Lord forbid. Open your mouth and let's pray. Be one on a bomb here. Be one on a bomb here. Be one on a bomb here. And we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Come on, use the blood. The Bible says, For they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Pray, use the blood of Jesus. Hope your mama. Father, we pray against every demonic wild spirit. Spirit that are against us, wants to destroy us, wants to fight our destiny. They have never have a spirit of relent. They have purpose within their spirit. They are everywhere. There are some people that will pray, see him poor dead. My brother, my sister, you will not die. You will live. Rakatobonda, rakandes in the river. Rapapande, ribonda, rakadaba. Hope your mama. Pray in the name of Jesus. Send prayer everywhere. Lift up your prayer and call the name of Jehovah. That every serpentine spirit, every scorpion spirit, every demon, every uh, every. Uh, 
Rakata, Liponda Brakanda Sanda, Brokaraban de Riva, Roko de Bonda Braca, Zende Rebele Briarava, Rapa Pande Rebonda Braca, Dosondo Briarava, Akande Rebonda Bracadava, Ikando Brocada Zende Riva, Somebody pray, Rako de Bonda Braca Zende Rebe, Eta Brocada Zende Rebe de Briarava, Rako de Bonda Braca Zende Rebe, O Yesu Christo Timo, O Yesu Christo Timo, Rabonda Rabande Brakande Zende Briarava, Abonda Braco de Zoda Bracade Zende Rebe, Atabanda Raba, Yesu Moja, Yesu Moja, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, Yabanda Rabonda Bracando Zondo Branda, Abanda Rebocada Branda Zende Rebe, Rocodobo, Ebanda Zabra Sondo Rabonda Bracodobo, Ebonda Braca Zande Rebe, Rebonda Rabase Caraba, in the name of Jesus. Oh Jehovah, me corono bria cada zenderebe, rabo jeca branda zenderebe. Oh my God, great is Jehovah. Great is Jehovah. Let every will of God come to pass. Radimani boshe pabia emremoma. He says, but El Mas the sorcerer, the sorcerer. Then we stood them, trying to turn them from the faith. Every day, every time, there is somebody envious of your life and your destiny. There are many people, if you don't know, some of us that are preaching, there are some people they are praying that we will not even, nobody will listen to us. There are some people they are praying that Kobi Kukra, Kobi Kobi Kukra Nanka, and Mbwase, Afaohun. Also, for me, Kachira, I said, I want some money here. Until who wants money, be a me call me through and uncover so Timmy wants some money. The so Timmy wants some money. Go over Timmy wants some money. Nanka Wajinaso. Wajinaso, they are saying, when you have a man in Pungu, and she ran some woman say, when you make one fret a papa for Fra Bonnier for Fra Bonnier for. In the Nassi, I bought a bonnet in your crown, I a bonnier for Nammy. Until catch me play, until who wants money, be a and the meaning that he wants to hear. My brother, my sister, we are praying. Let's pray this prayer. We are praying against the spirit that I call it the spirit of Pisgah. The spirit of Pisgah. Seeing the promised land. You see every good thing, but you cannot possess nothing good. You cannot. You cannot possess anything. Nothing good is coming to you. There are many people, there are people, they have good ideas. They have good ideas, they have good plans, but they themselves cannot implement the plans. They cannot. They cannot. They have friends that they are succeeding. And if you are forgotten, even Jesus Christ said that the kingdom of this world, the children of the world, are wiser than the children of the kingdom. The, the children of this world are wiser than the children of the kingdom. Why? Because the children of the world are ready to do the, the things of the world. But the children of the kingdom Yet they are in the kingdom. They prefer the things of the world. And so they have a code in the form of the kingdom. But within them is the world. I pray that you begin to change. There are many people, they are, they are in America, they are in Europe, they are everywhere. They see the good things. They will never inherit. And even if you don't take care, you pray, you do, they will die in misery. They will die. They pray on my own, Timusan, and we will. Timusan, they will be on the but some remember when you mistake me or Brabum, now be what you're the rest of your life. Be what you're doing the rest of your life. Who better than the work of womb? When you're being said, Son of Man, I pray that the Lord will begin to turn it around in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying against the spirit of Pesca. Deuteronomy chapter 34. Deuteronomy. Let's go and read Deuteronomy. And we see what happens in the throne of me, on the mountain of Pisgah that Moses, Moses stood on that mountain and he looked at the promised land. The Bible says Moses looked at the promised land, but he himself, he could not. He says, and Moses went up, verse 1, Moses went up from the plains of Moab onto the mountains of Neb, Nebo, and the top of Pisgah. That is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead and unto Dan. And all Naphtali, 
in the land of Ephraim and Manasseh and all the land of Judah and on to the outward state and the south and the plains and the valley of Jericho, cities and trees, uh, Zona. And the Lord said, This is the land which I sworn unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give thee it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thy eyes, but thou shalt not go over thee either. The Lord said, I have caused you to see it. But you never go there. There are many people, if you don't take care, you see the good things in the life in this life. But you never, you never. But we are praying against spirit that will fight you. Fight you never to step into your promised land. Your promise that that will decide to prevent you, to turn you from the faith. Just open your mouth and let's pray. Let's pray our last prayer. And we'll continue tomorrow. Be one on a bumpire. I want my new Abraham DSE. There are many women that go through that. There are many women and there are many men. I want to marry you. I want to marry you. Nani hopes in Yanako Shabarimanimo. Nani hopes in Yanako Shabarimanimo. A bones a horn man a better man disappointed. He sees it, but because the enemy will never let come to pass, somebody will try as much as possible. Do will not allow any good thing to come into your life. It is there. There are many people who have traveled and the enemy is preventing them from possessing. There are many people there in the marriage. We are calling the name of Jehovah. We are calling the name of Jehovah. Rabba bona braka da zendere bene briyadaba. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Rabba na rabba zekanda braka da zonda briyadaba. Rabba bandere bona braka zonda rabba. In the name of Jesus, Rabba bandere boshi kabra da zendere be. In Jesus' name, we Yeshu dima, we Yeshu Christo dima, we Yeshu dima. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord open the heavens unto you. Every spirit that is fighting your destiny, fighting your life, may the Lord give you victory on every other side. People of God, may we allow ourselves, may we give our all to the Lord Jesus Christ because he's coming and he has his reward in his hand. God bless you all. Bye.